have anything to say about um, the Me Too and uh, Time's Up and well, yeah. that we just selected 140 Which is wonderful. Women. I'll say very, very quickly, how great was it to watch Nancy Pelosi school President Trump on don't talk for me, especially since I'm the Speaker of the House, which just had more gains than ever in history. So don't try to talk, you know, for, and she did it in the most, in the kind of calmest, classiest way without having to act like a bully. And I think there's all kinds of ways to speak. I think there's nothing wrong with us getting in touch with being angry or upset or vigilant or any of that stuff. But what I love most about NYWIF and about this event, I think, is it just underscores how important our voices are and how important all of our stories are from cradle to grave, every shape, size, sexual orientation, cultural background, city dwellers, country dwellers, we gotta, you know, our stories are America and they're this world and they matter. And an organization like this has been at the forefront of making sure those stories are heard. So right on to NYWIF for helping, I think, open up the world to how things should be. I mean, if it were a perfect world, maybe we wouldn't quote unquote need anything like NYWIF, but I think we'd always need something like NYWIF because because women and women supporting women is just a, it's a vital thing. Are you just shocked that we are where we are with civil rights and women's yes, movement? Yes, right I mean, now. We should be farther along, but I think one thing that's happened, maybe because of the political landscape, is I think that more people are understanding how powerful each of us can be and that local politics really matter. That's where a lot of bad things have happened and that's where a lot of good things can be changed when it comes to voting rights and women's rights. These states and these local municipalities, they've been really clamping down on voter rights and been suppressing votes and women's, you know, um, women's rights. And I do believe that maybe the way things have been have shaken people at their very core and they're starting to understand that we the people really does mean something. The, the government is us from the local level all the way to the presidency, but we've got to show up and again, make our voices heard. So, Go yes. see Brian Cranston in that oh, I wanted to be in that, I know. I love that movie. I wanted to be the, uh, the that black revolutionary oh, woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they brought her in from London. What am I gonna do, you know? But I love that, thank you. Thank you.